Hello friends, welcome. I'm Faraz and in today's video, we are going to learn how to extract these commodity prices into Excel. So let's say that you want to extract this crude oil price into Excel. We can do it really with an easy trick. Now, this is a continuation video of my previous video where I have showed that how to extract these metal prices, the precious metals which are there, you can extract it into Excel. So on that video, I got a comment that how can you extract these crude oil prices. So let's go and see the things in action together. So when somebody entered this crude oil price, he was not able to extract it in the stock which is there for the Excel. So let me say that you have this crude oil price and I just select the stock over here and unfortunately I don't know why it is not able to get that data or not able to even show it in the data selector so the solution was to identify the trigger symbol now i have listed out all the trigger symbol over here for all these commodities and in fact if you wanted to know that how to identify them i'll be dropping the link of this msn commodities over here in my video description so you can go and get it from there so let's say we are going to extract the crude oil price now once you click on the crude oil you can see that this is a trigger symbol which is at the rate cl0y now i have entered that same over here but there is a trick that you can't enter it straight away like this at the rate you must add a space to it otherwise it will bump you an error so that function is invalid you know so just make sure that you add a space and you enter it and now I will just select all my trigger symbols over here and I'll just click on stock. So as soon as I do that, I get these stocks over here. So it is now a stock data type. Now let's go and extract some information like let's say equals to dot price. And I would like to know the price. I can click on this card and I can identify the trade unit. Let's say the category. Uh, you have the category over here. And even you can try to extract the region, you know, from which region, or even you can go and add that trigger symbol over here. So let's say that we have all this relevant information. Let's go and validate our stock. So it's 64.65. And when I go over here and I check it, yes, it's exactly the same. So now note that there might be some kind of a delay because as you can closely look over here the delay by 10 minutes if you are checking it on excel then you might find this delay coming up over here also so let's go and fill all this information over here let's go over here Control g let me go to special and let's go and remove the errors going to formula uncheck uncheck the text okay perfect so we have removed the errors now the trigger symbol is a very important symbol where you can use it into your stock history function. Let's say equals to stock history and I want this crude oil prices which are there and we need it for last like 15 days. So I'll use today minus 15 and that is today minus one. So it will not take the today stock because it's an historical function and we want a daily basis enter and that was super quick see this is how you can get that crude oil prices closing opening and to watch more in detail about stock history i have already created a video so you can feel free to check it out that so this is how you can use the trigger symbol and extract the prices into excel now you can even use it as data types and as i showed it to you you can use it in the stock history also so this helps you to analyze and make some business decision based on the crude oil prices and uh, this is how i managed to extract it and do it in this fashion so let me know in your business how are you using these functions and also let me know that what can be improved in this one so if you if it's already there in excel i will really make a video or i'll just let you know in the comment section so that's all for today my friends and i'll be seeing you in my next video take care bye